Let's talk about file reading and writing in Python. Um, this example is not what you'd actually want to do. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but you can use the open function to open a file writer. And then you can use writer.write to write individual strings to the file. And then at the end, you have to remember to close the file. So let's run it and see what happens. <clears throat> when I run it, you see here in the left-hand side, it's created the file test.txt. So this file name that you supply here is the name of the text file that you're going to be writing to. And when I look in it, you see there's a better way to do this. Um, you might immediately notice that there are no line endings here. Uh, each of the write statements does not operate like a print statement. Um, that's on purpose. So if you want there to be line endings, you have to insert them yourself like this. <clears throat> and now if I run it again, uh, you see the line endings. You may also have noticed that the file name here didn't change. Uh, I actually overwrote the file, and that's what the W mode here means. It means that when you open the file for writing, if a file of that name already exists, you'll just overwrite it. If you want to append, you can open in uh, append mode by changing this to A. And if I run it now, you'll see that it contains this uh, this twice because I the second run has added these three lines to the previous lines that already existed. The approach that you see people using in practice doesn't involve uh, opening the writer this way. Instead, you would see something like this. Um, you'd see the with keyword, so op uh, with open as writer. This does the same thing. Um, but now when you're using the writer in the block, well, here, let's, let's move this stuff. There we go. Um, you're, you're using the writer in the block, but now you don't have to remember to close it um, because that's the purpose of this with block. Once the block is finished executing, it will automatically close the writer. And that's true even if it exits with an error, um, like if it gets interrupted unexpectedly or if an exception gets thrown. So let's change this a little bit. I'm going to change it back to write mode and then here I'm going to define a string. This is several lines of text <clears throat> and now I'm going to write the string. And there you go. This is several lines of text. Reading text files is very similar. So we say with open, only we change this to an R, which is opening it as read. Um, because of that, I'm gonna change the variable name here to reader. Um, let me start again by showing you what you could do and then what you would actually do. Um, so I could have a variable called lines where I'd have reader and then I'd say read lines. And that's gonna return a list of the individual lines. Um, so let's just look at that maybe. Um, so let's print lines. So that's, you can see it's displayed as a list. So there's a new line character and then this is followed by a new line character, several lines, new line character, like that. If we wanted to display this more the way you might be expecting, so we could say for line in lines line. And there you go. You might wonder why there are spaces or why there are new line characters between the lines. Print is adding its own new lines and each string that we read from the file contains its own new lines. So we could say end equals empty string and that'll display literally what was exactly in the file. Okay, so hold on though. This is not really what we'd want to do. So um, a shorthand way of doing this rather than read lines would be just to cast the reader object directly to a list. And as you can see, that does the exact same thing. If you wanted to process the lines one at a time, um, the reader object itself is already iterable. So rather than casting it to a list, you can just say for line in reader. Um, let's go ahead and print it again. So print line with an ending of empty string. 
So as you can see, that does the exact same thing as well. So you had three options, reader.readlines, or cast the reader to a list, or just iterate directly over the reader, and that will, that will iterate over the lines of the file that you're reading.